Bookmarks are a highly useful feature in RoboHelp. They're quite similar to hyperlinks. They can be found here in the Insert menu where we insert a bookmark. What I'd like to do first is show you my goal for uh, bookmarks in this project. I just clicked on the Preview button so we can actually see an HTML preview of this particular topic. And as you'll see, it's got a rather long table. Um, this is a policy and procedure manual, and we may be concerned that our uh, employees are not going to read every item on the table that's of critical importance. So perhaps I'd like to draw their attention to um, appeal, uh, perhaps an extension of time limits, and maybe a third topic as well, uh, perhaps a trial period. So I'd like to basically have links to these three items in the table appear up here at the top so that somebody can jump to it uh, because they may be reading this on an iPad or a different version on an iPhone and I don't want them to scroll too much. So I'm going to close the preview and the first step is to actually go ahead and plant the bookmarks where we have targets that we can jump to. So I'm going down here to trial period. Um, typically we insert our cursor right at the beginning of the text and you simply say insert bookmark. As you do it will copy whatever text it finds although you can certainly reword it to say whatever you wish. Notice a little flag appears as a bookmark. Let's create two more. I'm going to make a bookmark um, here as well. Uh, this is one that says trial. Um, in this particular case we want to pick up appeal and you can see the previous bookmark. There we go. And I'll just scroll down to uh, extension of time limits. Insert bookmark one more time. Um, and I'm just going to leave the text at the default level. Now nothing will happen unless we save the file and uh, so I'm going to do that first and I want you to notice what happens over here in the left hand column. As soon as I save the file my current topic flexible working hours has a plus sign and if I expand it you'll actually see that these uh, bookmarks have appeared and we can actually employ these bookmarks with a simple drag and drop. I'm moving up here to the top where I'd like to uh, perhaps add a simple bulleted list uh, to draw my users attention to this information so I'm just going to type in the word trial period appeal and finally um, extension of time period. Text does not have to be an exact match, this is your preference. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select the text that I would like to become uh, active as a hyperlink. Just go ahead and select it like that. And all I have to do is just drag the bookmark over. Go ahead and select appeal, drag the bookmark over, and finally uh, do the same thing with the extension of the time period and once again drag the bookmark over. Okay, now it, if I go ahead and save my file you'll notice quite a difference when I do the preview this time. Notice with the appeal uh, and the preview that here we can see the three topics trial, appeal, extension, but you can also see that they obviously have something that looks like a hyperlink and these, these are actually um, are hyperlinks but they are two bookmarks within the same topic so if I click on trial period you can see this has jumped me down to that part of the topic down into the deep into the table. Let's go ahead and click on the last one, extension of time period, and you can see that it goes ahead and jumps straight to that point. You could use bookmarks, by the way, to also jump to other topics, and in addition, um, bookmarks can be dragged into the table of contents to physically create uh, subtopics. This concludes our brief demonstration on how to use bookmarks in RoboHelp 11.